think it gives students a chance to engage in science in a different way outside of the classroom. It gives them a hands-on experience to explore their own creativity and maybe a field of science that they don't necessarily get to examine that in that or during the school year. Um, and I think it just brings science, it makes science real for them. It brings it home. There's lots of different levels. We have fourth graders here that are entering their first one on how to make a flashlight. And we have people that are building their own computers. So whatever level you're at, there's a project that you can do. Uh, my project is about uh, programming and how to make a robot solve a maze. So the, um, this is simply electromagnetic levitation. Electromagnet um, like gives it a field for the pencil to like levitate on, and I have to find like the point where it's not repelling or like attracted to the magnet. Our project is Concrete Boat, as you see here. It's 24 inches by 12 inches by 5.5 inches long. It is one inch thick and it weighs in about 46 pounds. We think this would benefit sea travel in the long run, especially like the Navy because it could take many hits. And even using a uh, structure so tough and um, heavy like concrete, if we can use that, we can use basically anything. They are so excited about it. I've taught engineering for seven years now, and this is the most exciting time of the year. They're picking projects. If they want to build a boat out of concrete, they build a boat out of concrete. If they want to make a touch screen on any surface, they can do that. Uh, so students get to pick their projects and go through and see if it works. They can do internships in the summer, working with local colleges, investigating um, right alongside a professor and then again it follows them right into college and so they're doing hands-on science, they're working alongside a professor in a laboratory, um, they're you know making a difference, sometimes they're getting published and then they can go on into industry and continue their work or um, you know help out in some way. So there's math and technology in everything that we do and it is impossible for students to avoid it so they should embrace it. Uh, there's a lot of jobs out there for STEM, there's a lot of openings in college for STEM so it's time for them to get on board. I saw some sixth graders over there that built a little model of a solar boat. And then I showed them the solar boat that Folsom High builds every year. And they were so excited. And they just can't wait to get to high school to have that opportunity now. It's the inspiration that these kind of events show about what's possible and what to get to do in the future. Um, STEM can be very challenging, but you definitely, if you really are interested in pursuing a career in engineering or science or mathematics, this is definitely a class you should take. It's one of those things that you put the investment in earlier and the payoff becomes much or comes out much later. I just I couldn't imagine education without it. I couldn't imagine a curriculum without it. So.